Is there ever a time in our lives when we're done learning? When do we reach the point of knowing it all, of not needing to improve? Well, in the eyes of Columbus Academy, that answer is never. In fact, they say one of the keys to their students' academic success lies in the ongoing development of their teachers and staff. For us, having quality teachers is the most important thing. Dan Alexio is the assistant head of school for academic affairs at Columbus Academy. In addition to his many roles, he helps oversee the professional development programs for Academy's teaching staff. Think of it as continuing education. And just as students are here to learn, the teachers are encouraged to grow. We start that with a hiring process that's very thorough and we hire fantastic faculty members. But as they come to us, there may be certain areas that they want to explore or um, use uh, certain things more diligently. One seemingly simple change was to adjust the daily class schedule. They have longer blocks of study instead of smaller short class periods. Dan says this allows new teaching practices to flourish. We didn't just make that change and say, good luck, teacher. We said, let's bring in experts that have implemented these changes who are doing this sort of teaching and then our faculty learn and implement those things in the classroom. While we want our students to be flexible, to push themselves, to take some risks, we ask our faculty to do the same, but we don't do it without any preparation. And that's what one of the places where our, our formal professional development comes to, into play. And explain to us what that looks like at Columbus Academy. Well, the, the formal professional development at Columbus Academy consists of three days of teacher-only workshops and training and meetings prior to the school year starting. And throughout the school year, we have three full days of professional development. Professional development days are not just about sitting in a room and listening to a lecture. It's about active collaboration. Take, for instance, their recent community service project. We partnered with Neighborhood Services here in Columbus, and we built backpacks for um, students that they support um, and we built 50 backpacks and instead of just buying a bunch of backpacks and supplies and having our faculty get in a big room and pack them, we developed an activity that was sort of scavenger hunt uh, meets amazing race. We put the school supplies all over the campus. We provided clues. They went, they took pictures, they posted to social media. Uh, they collected all of those things, came back together, built the backpacks. So it was a service project, but I think it also demonstrated to the faculty a way to take a specific task and have the process of completing that task also be a learning experience. Well, how do students benefit from the fact that their teachers are continuing to learn just as they are? Well, one of the reasons we set our professional development up in that way is we think that's the best model for learning. Uh, as, as the educational environment moves away from the sage on the stage model where I have all the information, I need to impart that to you, the collaborative, critical thinking, time for reflection, group work that schools today are moving toward. We have been doing that as well and are continuing to do that. Teachers are also encouraged to apply for grants, explore ways of being more creative. One teacher recently got money to test out a walking classroom. Where they, instead of just lecturing to a student in the classroom, they would pre-record their lecture or the information they want students to hear, record it onto a, an iPod, give the students the iPod and some headphones and the whole class would walk around some of our 231 acres of the campus here and listen to that and then come back and discuss it. So the modeling for the faculty of what we want students to do I think is important but then I think our teachers then are better at setting up those conditions in their classroom which again are going to make students collaborative skills, critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, the things that are a part of our school's strategic vision, we're able to do that better. And if you would like to learn more about Columbus Academy, they have some great opportunities coming up in the new year. Academy mornings are designed to provide prospective parents with a look inside active classrooms and a chance to hear from a group of students about their own experiences. January 10th and 24th, they'll focus on lower school grades pre-K through 5. Sessions on January 17th and 31st will feature middle and upper schools, which is 6th through 12th grades, and they all start at 9 a.m. RSVP at columbusacademy.org or call 509-2220.